Joining us now is Steve Bornstein, North American president of Genius Sports and former CEO of ESPN and NFL Network. It's great to have you back on the show, Steve. That's exactly where I want to start with you, and that is what could a strategic partnership with Disney look like? Well, I think the strategic partnership would be the usual suspects, whether it be the, the leagues or big tech or even uh, telecom. But what was struck me by his comments was just the remarkable job that ESPN did uh, this quarter. I mean, you know, its performance was outstanding. Ratings were up, advertising were up, and, and probably most importantly, engagement was up. Um, operating income as well, up 15%. Subscribers beating expectations, revenue growing as well. Um, and, and again, another uh, comment on, well, he said targeting 2025, but won't be later than that in terms of this full direct-to-consumer rollout of, of ESPN. He said that, and he said also something else that I think is just, it's just incredibly remarkable that in this world of cord cutting, uh, the performance that ESPN delivered was, uh, you know, extraordinary. It's just, it's remarkable that all those factors are up, and, 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 and their digital presence is, is also increasing. Their fantasy numbers are fantastic. It just seems like they've done a heck of a job and a really difficult uh, hand that they were dealt with the cord cutting phenomenon being a real issue. I guess, walk me through how this is a flywheel. When you, whether it's ESPN and sports, whether it's the streaming properties and now the ability to start to bundle some of those together in a more meaningful way as Disney takes on full ownership of Hulu in the coming months. Um, or whether it's, uh, and we know, we know the different businesses of, of Disney all come together and sort of build up upon each other. But in this new streaming landscape, what does that actually look like? And what is going to be the role of Linear overall in it? I think the real question is reach. What Linear delivers is an incredible amount of reach. You know, the NFL experiences that with their media partners. And Disney experiences that with all their multiple assets. So I think that what I heard, what I, the comment I heard was that we're going to take these linear networks and we're going to use them to reinforce not only our, our digital properties, but our streaming properties as well. And that's a really smart strategy and the one that you need to execute to win in this space. How important is ad supported to Disney? I mean, they talked about it a little bit in the interview. Uh, and we know that across the industry, we have a number of streaming properties where, where this is really being prioritized. How lucrative is that versus uh, some of the offerings that have existed that don't in include ads up until now? Well, I, yeah, I think what we have, what it's evolved to is that this hybrid method of both, you know, premium uh, subscription pricing and advertising is the right model that hits the sweet spot of most, uh, of most consumers. And that's what I think uh, Disney is really pioneering at this stage. 